question 20. Well, let's just start by thinking about, so divide with fractions just means we're going to multiply, but we're going to just turn the fraction around. So let's start by just rewriting like this. Now in this question, this question for mathematicians, it's actually a lot of fun because it looks tricky, but actually it's relatively easy to do. So we get to this stage. Now we're just going to try and see what we can factorize. So let's have a look, see what we can factorize. So we can start with this as a common factor of three. So that gives me three and then X plus two. And then we've got multiply. Now what we've got there is we could write, well, X is a common factor. So we can write X and then we're going to have X squared minus 25. I'll tell you about that in a bit just in a second. You might have spotted something there already. And then this is going to be over. So X squared minus 3X minus 10. So that's just a, a standard bit of quadratic factorizing. So I've got two numbers that multiply together to give me minus 10. So one's going to be a negative and one's going to be a positive. And then you add together to give me minus 3. So it's got to be minus 5 and 2. And then I've also got to multiply that by x plus 5. So let's have a look and see if there's anything obvious we can do straight away. Well, we can just get rid of those two there. They're going to cancel each other out. Now, the next trick is, is looking at this part here. And yes, it's difference of two squares. So this part just here will give us x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 5. And look, there's x minus 5 in the denominator and there's x plus 5 on the denominator. So these guys just here, this one and this one, are just going to cancel that out. So the whole thing is equal to 3x. Now that's always quite satisfying because when you look at what you're asked to do, it's in the right form. So it's a bit of reassurance that we've done the right thing. 